question number 111 rhizoids and mosses are in mosses the rhizoids are multicellular and branched whereas in liverworts they are unicellular and unbranched so the correct option for the given question is option number 1 let's move to the next question question number 112 how many of the following plants have both enthridia as well as archegonia which plant group is called the first archegoniate group bryophytes bryophytes are the first archegoniates so bryophytes pteridophytes and the gymnosperms they have archegonia but angiosperms also lack archegonia true now what about the enthridia enthridia no doubt bryophytes and pteridophytes they have enthridia in gymnosperms they have pollen grains not the enthridia so you have to choose bryophyte as well as pteridophyte because gymnosperms and the angiosperms they lack enthridia and gymnosperms they have archegonia but lack enthridia but you have to choose in the questions that the plants which have both enthridia as well as archegonia so clemidomonas clemidomonas it's an alga ruled out volvox again alga marchensia yes because we have to go for the bryoenterido it's a bryophyte funaria it's a bryophyte edentum it's a pteridophyte trioptides it's a pteridophyte cycas it's a gymnosperm it has archegonia but it lacks enthridia laminaria alga no so 1 2 3 4 so how many of the following plants have both anthridia as well as archegonia four so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move to the next question question number 113 which of the following is a correct statement option number 1 spores germinate to produce dorsi ventral thallus in mosses mosses are bryophytes and they produce protonema and the spores on germination produce protonema which is filamentous structure so this is incorrect spores germinate to give rise to protonema in ferns no protonema in mosses and the prothallus in ferns this is also incorrect third one gamma are non green no they are green multicellular structures so this is also incorrect fourth one mosses along with the lichens are the first organisms to colonize rocks this is true they help in succession so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 let's move to the next question question number 114 select the immobile element in plant calcium potassium nitrogen or phosphorus NPK they all are mobile but the calcium it is the immobile element in the plant hence its deficiency symptoms are first seen in the young tissues or the young leaves so the correct option for the given question is option number 1 let's move to the next question question number 115 which of the following provides peat sphagnum is also called the peat moss because it provides peat So the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question.